Well, welcome back to the Cottage Farmstead. We are working on our greenhouse again this afternoon as the sun is still shining, the clouds are definitely building and the wind is picking up. It is supposed to rain tomorrow and probably later tonight as well. So we're hoping to get as many of the roof trusses up as we can while the sun shines before it sets. So let's get started. The other afternoon where we were working on it, Nathan got really excited right as the sun was setting and he wanted to get one of the trusses put together just to see what it would look like and to see if our method would work. So I will insert those clips right here. So as you can see, it looks great. That first truss is already sitting up there at the top. Um, and we're gonna put a couple of more of them together and then start raising them up and bracing them. So we found it was much easier to put them together with one underneath it that was already assembled. It made it a lot easier to get them level and flush with each other. So we're building on top of one each time to keep everything nice and flat. So I'm working out some of the details. With how these trusses are built, we're gonna be putting them four foot apart on center, especially since the only weight that they're holding up top is plastic. To make that easier, I'm going ahead and marking off four foot on center so then we know exactly where those trusses have to land. So then when we're up here, we're not having to monkey around and measure things. One thing that I am doing on the truss over here, I'm measuring off of the face, which means this four foot measurement is on the face that it would be facing this direction. So what I end up doing then, create a straight line and then put an X to the left and that marks where that stud ends up going. We got the second truss up. We forgot to account for an inch and a half of the two by four that where we're going on top of over here. So we had it just a little bit too long. We had accounted for on one side, forgot to do on the other side. Simple math there. Well, the sun is setting on us. We got four of the seven trusses up, as you can see behind me there. Uh, we had a little bit of issues trying to figure out the math. We were too long the first time and then we were too short on the second one, but we have figured it out now and we are making great progress. Fortunately, we ran out of sunlight and I'm getting a little bit hungry for dinner, to be honest. So we are gonna head inside and if it's not raining tomorrow, we may come back out again, but if not, we'll catch you another day. Well, good afternoon again. It's a couple days later from where we left off last time. Um, we've been working on the greenhouse in bits and pieces, and so we haven't really had a chance to do a whole lot of filming. On Saturday, when I was working at my day job, uh, Farmer Nathan got busy putting the skirt board around the base, which is where we, A, it gives us more strength, then we're also planning on doing um, wood slats up to about knee high along the bottom of the greenhouse eventually, so that's something we'll be using for fastening too. And then today, you can see behind me, we have all the trusses up. We were gonna film a little bit more of that process, but it is supposed to start pouring in the next like five minutes. As you can see, the wind's picked up behind me, the temperature has dropped. And so we decided let's just hit it hard, get it done. And we got it done before the rain fully started. We've, we had a little sprinkle or two that got us concerned about getting it done in time, but we got it up. So from here on out, I will be turning some of it over to Farmer Nathan since he can do it without me. 
So next up, we are gonna be getting our greenhouse plastic. We ordered it over the weekend and it's on its way to us. When that arrives, we'll be doing the roof as a piece and then we'll be doing a piece on each side. We're probably gonna end up building the doors um, out of some of the scraps from my dad's sawmill and get some outdoor hinges for our door this year but I'm looking forward to getting it done and ready because I need to get our seed started. So another thing that Nathan did over the weekend is he got these pressure pre-eated. Um, we had like two by eights and two by tens and stuff left over from the house. Well, and he took them to his dad's table saw and made quick work and made a whole bunch of furring strips that we'll be using to fasten the plastic to the greenhouse. Well, I'm starting to feel a few raindrops, so I'm gonna head on inside. So we will catch you next time and give you an update on our greenhouse progress.